Hello guys, welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at creating uh, a destructible mesh within Unreal Engine 4. So let's jump straight into this and first of all let's create the mesh that we're going to destroy. I'm going to do that by selecting material such as uh, let's blow up something made of steel. Let's drag a box on here and let's stretch this box to the size that we want it. So I'm going to build a wall across here. I'm going to blow it up. That's what I'm going to do. So we're going to make something that blows up this wall. So once you have your BSP volume here, what you're going to do is come on over here to this drop down box and create a static mesh from it. I'm going to name this wall SM. If you get this error, just overwrite the light settings here and you're all good again. So let's find that mesh, and we're going to right click on it and create destructible mesh. So here we have our wall. Let it compile the shaders real quick. And now while it does that, I'm going to talk about the cell site count. Cell site count. This is the number of pieces that it's going to break into. So we're going to change this to something bigger. I don't want 25 big pieces. I'll, I'll quickly demonstrate that. So 25 big pieces would look like that. We're going to change that to 400. I'd like my wall into lots of crumbly little pieces. That's better. Now, damage threshold we can leave at 1, with damage spread as 0.1. We want to enable impact damage and change impact damage to 1. Save this, and we can close out of this uh, destructible mesh editor here. This is the static mesh in the world, as you can see by the type here. We're going to be removing this and replacing it with the destructible one. Now we're going to scroll down on the destructible mesh. You can see here it's changed to destructible actor. We're going to scroll down on that and replace with a composite blueprint, which we're going to name wall uh, destructible mesh blueprint. So once we've created that blueprint, you're going to want to go over to the add component list and add a box component to that. This box component is what you're going to have to be inside to trigger it. So we can move that out here and scale it up a bit. So essentially you have to be within this component, within the box here, to trigger the uh, the wall destruction. And as you can see, if you compile it and come out, you can see that the box is there. So let's find that again. Uh, where have I put it? I believe this one was... Oh no, that's not it. My bad, that's a different project. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's jump back into that blueprint. You can see that the box is there and the wall's there, and we saw that in the world down there. So let's move on over to the graph now, where we're going to add three events. We need uh, an actor overlap. We need an actor begin overlap and an actor end overlap. We also need the key that you desire to use to blow up the wall with, which is for me is going to be the letter E. So we also need to create a variable named in range. This variable is going to be set to true whether we are when, when we are in range of the uh, of the box and when we're not in range of the box, it'll be set to false. So we're going to drag that out here and set that. So when we begin, we want to set this to true, and when we end the overlap, when we leave the box, we're going to set it to false. Off the true one, we need to do one more thing, which is enable input. Like so. And this is going to get an input from the player controller, which is going to be you. So you're going to get the player controller also. That's all we need to do for those two events. Now, when the E key is pressed, we need to do an if statement. So we're going to drag off that and get ourselves a branch. And the condition for the branch is going to be in range. So if in range is set to true, which happens when we begin the overlap, then this, then the output from here will be true. And all we need to do from there is select the wall destructible mesh and apply damage to it. Apply radius damage like so. The base damage is going to be 1, the damage radius will be 1, and the impulse strength will be 1. The origin for this damage is going to be determined by the actor location, so we're going to get actor location. And that's all we need to do for the graph from there. Uh, just a quick look over that, and I think we're good to go. So if we close that out, and step inside the box here and okay that didn't quite work as it should have done 
Uh, I believe it's because it's kind of squashed in there with those guys, so I'm going to move that out of the way a bit. And bring it apart the floor. I may need to lower where the box is as well. Yep. So I'll open back up that blueprint components and move this box down. I'll just stretch it. Uh, okay, so simulate physics is off. We don't need that on. And hit play. And we should be able to fracture this wall now into all those little pieces. So that's what you're creating there. So what happened? Well, let's just quickly take a look at what happened and why it did that. Uh, if I leave the graph up while I'm playing, actually, you should be able to see everything uh, coming to come to life. Move this a bit closer so we can see and hit play. So when the E key is pressed, it does nothing because enable to the object has not been has not been triggered yet. When we enter that, you'll see that there input was enabled up here. So this this uh, this object can now receive input from the E key as you can see there. However, because we've moved back out of the range, the in range variable is now false, which means that it won't trigger. Once we move in range of that again and fire off the E key. It applies the damage and put it back on here. Oops, let's just get rid of that. You can see that the wall comes crumbling down. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, if you'd like to see some more tutorials I'll be doing in the future, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment on any tutorials you'd like to do. Um, I will be doing a part two to this tutorial whereby we trigger the damage by firing one of these projectiles at it. So you can blow up the wall by shooting it down as opposed to pressing a button. Uh, but this can be used in levels where, let's say you have a house, and let's say you build an entire house as a static mesh, you fracture it, you do all, you follow the entire process, and you have a button somewhere else on your map, and you can blow up that house that way. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, do leave a comment for anything you like. Like the video, please, that really helps me out, and subscribe for more content.